Hi friends, this is Cole Chance, Yoga TX. Wanted to tell you about a couple exciting things coming up. In January, I am doing Yoga Week from the 1st through the 7th and we'll work on cultivating your connection to your practice and reinvigorating your practice, kind of a jump start for the new year. Things can get busy over the holidays and it's just really good to like recommit yourself to self-care. Recommit yourself to yourself. Very important though. And also we are doing every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have new videos coming out. So make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already and follow us on social media, Cold Chance Yoga and Yoga TX on Instagram and Facebook. So let's do some yoga. Today we're just going to try to open up, gentle stretch, try to find some space in the body. So let's start cross-legged if this is comfortable for you. Otherwise you can sit on your knees, you can sit up on a block or a bolster. Just sit comfortably and start to focus on your breath. And see if you can move the breath from the chest all the way down to the belly. So when you inhale, see if you can fill up the whole cavity. About three more rounds. Slow, deep breathing to come into the body. We tend to breathe in the chest. We tend to create that pattern. And also when you're in stress or in, in your body's in any type of stress, we tend to shallow breathe up top and that creates a lot of tension around the neck and the back. So focusing on moving that breath down, back down to the belly. Let's just open the arms wide here. Let's tee the arms. Bring the heart forward and look up. And then exhale. Let's bring them in front. Arch round the back. Drop the chin. Touch the fingers together. So we're slowly moving, moving, using the whole inhale to get where we're going and the whole exhale to get where we're going. And one more time, inhale. Heart open. And exhale, bring it in. This time, hands come up above the head. Hands up, gaze up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So let's do that again. Inhale, big. Exhale, hands in front, round. Inhale, up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's start to walk the hands forward here. So maybe you stay up here. Maybe you come down to your elbows, whatever feels good. So with the straight back, we're just kind of walking forward and wherever you get to, wherever feels comfortable, just drop your head. We want to drop the neck. And then start to fingertip your hands over to the left side. So we're getting side body stretch. Every inhale, see if you can feel your back body rise a little bit. And then exhale, your belly, chest fall more towards the ground. And then we'll tiptoe or finger toe, tip finger over to the right. Drop the head. Inhale, grows 
Breathe to 60 around the rib cage and exhale, sinks further down. And back to center and walk back up. Let's take the right hand outside, left hand, palm up, out to a T. We'll rainbow over, gazing up towards the ceiling. So the more that you're reaching with this arm, the more stretch you'll get here. So I can just go like this or I can reach. So one thing to note is the same time I'm reaching, I can reach even farther, but that pulls the joint out. So I'm, the same time I'm reaching, I'm actually pulling that shoulder in as well. So it's kind of a little bit of both. So finding that balance. And then inhale up. And we'll go to the other side. So maybe try it here and see how that feels. So reach as far as you can, and it'll go really long but then bring that shoulder into the socket as well, as well. So protecting the joint, gazing up. Let's do a couple with the breath. So inhale up, exhale over. Inhale, rise, exhale over. Using the whole breath to get where you're going. One more time, inhale up. Exhale to the right, and up to the left. And coming back up. And let's plant the hands behind a little bit, so you can have the fingers out if this feels good. So we're kind of like you're leaning back here. And I'm going to bring the left shoulder forward. I have both elbows bent here, and I'm just kind of twisting to the right. Then inhale up. So reverse, I'm bending the elbows, bringing the right shoulder forward, kind of bringing it down, and looking towards the left. Inhale up, right. And to the left. center. Let's roll over onto the knees. Let's all move this way. Starting with a big wide base. Fingertips are spread. Toes can be tucked or untucked, whichever feels better for you. And let's inhale, bring the chest forward, tilt the tailbone up, bringing the heart through. And then exhale, pushing the ground away. Arching the back, tucking the chin, rounding the back, and inhale, coming through. And twice more. Moving slow, moving mindfully. back to center. And let's get into puppy pose. So I'll scoot back just a little bit here. My hips are going to be over my knees and I'm going to just walk my hands forward. So we're not going to go into downward dog today, but this is like downward dog. It's the same action from the fingertips to the hips. So you can set the chin on the ground and gaze forward. Or you can drop the forehead but my hands are wide. I'm pushing the ground away. And you can kind of feel my, the back body rising. I don't want to be collapsed too much. You want to breathe in 360 degrees like we were doing earlier. So not only breathing in the front, but breathing in the back body. So take the right hand and we'll spin it over towards the left. 
So you can stay right here and get the shoulder opener. You can also take the left hand to a tent if you'd like and push the ground away if you'd like a little bit more sensation. Hmm. Coming back into the breath. It's very hard to pay attention to it all the time, but to practice, keep coming back that steady breath and let's unwind and switch sides here so threading the left hand under and you can stay here with the shoulder opener it's wonderful or you can tint the fingertips on the right hand and roll the chest open a little bit more And coming back to center into the puppy pose. Let's just push back into downward dog. We won't even get it all the way there. We're only pushing back to walk forward. And just take a forward fold, grabbing the elbows, having the knees bent. So maybe your belly touches your thighs, you can rock side to side. See if you can put a little more of the weight in the balls of your feet rather than the heels. It creates a little bit more weight in the torso for traction. Mm. This is one of my favorite poses. Go ahead and plant your hands and start to bend your knees and we'll come down. So come down to sitting and we'll have the legs, the, the soles of the feet on the ground, hands on the knees, pulling back at the knees, pulling the chest forward, gazing up, pulling the chest into the knees. And then exhale, I'm gonna round everything in Bring my forehead towards my knees, chin towards my chest. You should feel all the muscles on each side of your spine light up. And then inhale up. And exhale. And in. Coming back to neutral. This time we're gonna lay back on our back, but keep a hold of your knees here. We're sitting tall. And then we're gonna start to round. And instead of bringing the forehead to the knees, we're gonna start to lean back. But I'm rounded, rounded. And eventually, I'll have to let go with my hands as I come onto my back. And I'll walk the heels in. We'll just take a couple rolling bridges here. So I'm gonna to start to push the low back down as I tilt the tailbone up and I rise. And then on an exhale, low back, mid back, low back, tail. So just getting some articulation in the spine. Coming up. And coming down. Again, using the whole breath to get where you're going. Inhaling the knees into the chest. Just take a quick, gentle twist here. So teeing the arms wide, let's drop the legs over to the left. If it's comfortable for you, you can gaze to the right. Just stay here for three breaths, so two more. And 
And your inhale brings you to center, pull the knees into the chest. And then over to the right for three rounds of breath. We've done a lot of spinal movement. It's so good for you. Moving, moving the spine in ways that you may not normally move it, all the twisting and the lateral side stretching, very, very beneficial. Let's come back to center. Squeeze the knees into the chest. Just take a few rocks and roll up and down the side. Up and down your mat and maybe you'll get a few, a few pops. You'll definitely be getting a little bit of massage and we'll just come back up to seated. So again, close your eyes. Roll the shoulder blades on your back. And just notice how just a few minutes of movement can really create some more space in your body. And hands to heart center. Thank you for showing up on your mat today. Thank yourself for doing some self-care, you're worth it. From all of us here at Yoga TX, namaste. Inhale and rise, I'm gonna place my hands right here. So we'll just take a moment right here to feel everything going on. Again, you can be pulling back on your right hip to keep your pelvis straight. So let's inhale. Hands up, 